Hello there, here's a video on a question I got on Discord about having an NPC follow you to a point and then once they come to that location they will say goodbye and go back to their original point and then someone else could um, come along and do the, this similar type of uh, it's not really a quest, but it's uh, it could be worked into a quest, and I'll show you what I got going here. The question was, and also, um, if they there's no movement for a certain period, they will return to the location. So that's kind of a an added thing, but it, it does make a lot of sense in this in this scenario. I did do a video on something like this. Um, actually, it was one of my first videos I did about two years ago. But we'll get show you how this one works real quick. This guy, you just click on him, let's go, and he gives you this um, quest, and it's a location block quest, and that's what I like to use. But you don't have to use that. He will follow you just like a follower, because that's what he is is a follower, and that's the location blocks. Now, if you stay here too long, he will um, jump back to his original position. He says, he says, we have waited too long, so we must go back. So let's try that again. We get this quest. We come to this uh, location block. I just like location blocks. This one's, uh, he says, we did it. Goodbye. So same way. He uh, sets his position back to the original position. So that's the way you do it. This uh, location block is set on, um, it's set on two Oops, I have to use the wand, don't I? He set on a distance of two, so and that's how that works. Now you can do it without a location block. It's just I like the ease of using a location block. This guy just searches for um, where I'm standing, basically. He's uh, he's doing that so constantly, so. And then once I reach there, he says, we did it, goodbye. And there he goes. So that's how that runs. There's two different methods here, and it's fairly simple. This other dialog, um, I just had there for an example. You can say, let's go. And then basically, if I click on that, not now, he says, I must go back. No one is here. If he doesn't have a follower, or if, he, if, he, if the follower doesn't have an owner, he will um, teleport back to his original spot. So if I would like log off or something or get killed, then he would come back here also. Um, just like if I stop moving for a while or something like that. So that's uh, two ways of doing it. The script is not that complex. Here is um, the one it just has a dialog option and you can set that to your last dialog wherever you would want it to fire and which op option slot where you want him to follow you and this tick event which might be uh, resource intensive if you have a lot of these or something like that I'm not quite sure this could all be done with like a dialog but you would have to um, and here's the other one so actually the each one is only about 55 lines so um, what I was going to say is that actually um, you could do this, you could click, oops, you could click on him, let's go, he will follow you, and um, you would have to stop, and if, if uh, you click on him again and he's, he has stopped too long, he would teleport back. That's the way of doing it without the tick event or tick fun function I should say and the same thing with this with uh, coming to this uh, end location you would have to click on him and the dialog would register um, the event and then you wouldn't have to have the tick running constantly searching for um, whether he stopped or whether I'm stepping on here or whether I'm even in the game or not. So those are two options here and some additional options if you didn't want to use the tick of function.
So that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you out and some of your uh, maps. See ya. Bye.